Hello and welcome, my name is Dr. Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2 and this is episode 3 of my High Elf playthrough playing as Lothurn and Tyrion. And uh, this is the Mortal Empires campaign and we're going to continue straight away off from where we left last time uh, and I have a decision to make here. So, what will that decision be? Expose him publicly. I still don't think we have the uh, public order uh, in place to allow us to do that, so that's a shame. I think we'll just spend the 750 and do this although I would have loved to get another general in fact you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do that I'm going to do this because I'm going to recruit another general in the the um, capital so that won't be a problem so that'll give us the 30 influence we need to get a 60 influence general and then I'm less scared of losing Lothar now, where the rebellion will happen, because I'm going to recruit a general there. We won't do it quite yet, I might do it in a couple of turns, just at the last second when it's necessary. Let's see who's available anyway. Adept, that's a pretty damn good one. 250 experience for his troops per turn. Upkeep for archers plus range is very, very nice. A pun punitive. Missile damage plus 20%. That's even nicer. I prefer that to range, to be honest. Avaricious income from sacking. And I really like... I actually really like Alistair the White Lion. I love to just give him a big army of White Lions of Christ. Uh, which we can't do in this one, but... Um, still not bad. I think we'll go for... for uh, Princess Aladdin. But I won't, as I said, we won't do it this turn. Uh, so let's do this. Let's build a gate, shall we? 1,200 gold. There is glory to be won. Yes, I think we'll build the gate here to ensure that it's safe. I won't upgrade the Shrine of Assyrian yet. In fact, I will because that gives us the technological advancements. So yes, I will. Seal. And here I want to get troop repl replenishment rates up and give him Foe Seeker as well. And then we're going to finish this siege. I think I'll just auto resolve that. Although I, lost for battle. I don't want to lose any units, but I don't think I will. I did. Good stuff. Fear the might of Alf One. Your tribute is. And we will occupy that, seen. and that's Ivris uh, wiped out. So excellent. Uh, we now have Tori Vris as well. Does this give growth? It does. So that's fine. And what we'll do is we'll do construction cost minus 20%, I think. Or is it instant? I still can't remember. It doesn't say... Oh, no, it does. Yes, I was right last time. So, look, it's it's currently this commandment will take effect on your next turn. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to do... I'll actually do the growth. And let's just check the... Minus 10 plus minus 3. So, minus 13 for provincial instability. Protector. Tyrion also has points to spend. Let's give him one more in Quartermaster, so that's his army costing as little as it can. Uh, and I'd like Renowned and Feared, and that makes him cheap as chips, so we can give him a lot of elite units and uh, really give him an advantage in the field of battle. Tor, Corellia, and Misnar are next on the horizon for Lothurn. I think we have to keep that advantage moving, because I don't see how we can ignore them. Um, they have a couple of big armies. We noticed last episode they were sailing down here towards us. And then they went back for some reason. Perhaps they're at war with someone else. They're not, so not sure about that. Peace Treaty. I wouldn't mind that, you know, because I don't want to have to take these. And I'll tell you why. They have um, enemies to the north of them that can be a right pain. But then again... Oh no, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Vortex, where the Norskins are much closer... No, this is I'm completely wrong. There's no there's no enemies here. This this is um Britonia over here and possibly vampires, but either way, no one that's a natural enemy that's likely to declare war on us. So, um They really don't dislike us though, so it might be a good opportunity to just seek peace and then head back and then take Safari instead, which is a much more profitable gain for us in terms of cities. And they don't like us, so it could be a good idea. Let's see if they'll have... Oh. Never a bad thing to take cities, though, is it? 
No, we'll take it. Unless they... Uh, we'll take it. We'll it. We're not going to move this turn anyway, so we don't have to make the decision now. Um, the decision has to come when we decide to move. I'll also go into this stance, perhaps, next turn. Although it does do 5% for all units when I'm doing this, so maybe not. Right, regardless of what we're doing, can't do anything more this turn, so let's pass our turn there. <clears throat> Scourge of Cain have been destroyed as well. Okay, we're really wiping the Dark Elves out on this playthrough. The Altha one seems to be almost secured of, of Dark Elves. Do you want Kalidor? Defensive Alliance? No, I don't want that. I don't tend to accept Defensive Alliances very often because... They tend to thrust you into a load of wars that you don't want to be a part of. So um, I tend to avoid them for the most part. Okay, um, Scourge of Cain destroyed, excellent. Public Order plus one for Tyrion. Uh, still two turns left. I think here we're, I'll build the plaza. Um, I could get away with not building it, but I'd like to build it either way, just so we have the, the influence um, option, which is often the case, as we've seen, to have uh, plus 30 for minus five public order. I think that's a good option to have. I'm not as keen on that though, so we'll just leave that right now. We've got four turns and then we can upgrade Lothurn to level three. Uh, and a couple of turns before there's going to be a rebellion and we're going to recruit a lord. So we'll recruit a lord. It's going to be two turns. So we'll recruit a lord this turn. He can recruit three units or possibly four. Might be four, but certainly three. Um, Yes, you know what? This all makes sense because then we can keep our war going here as well with Tor Karul Al... Tor, Tor, who are these people? What are they called? Kothik, that's them. Um, and we can recruit a new lord here who will then attack Safri for us. So that's all going to work well. So will we wait here for one more turn or will we start moving? I think we should start moving to answer my own question. I'm just scared that the replenishment rate won't quite heal us if we do. You know what? I'm not going to. I want to make sure that I have the maximum replenishment rate that I can. Although, can we fortify? 50% required to adopt. So we could move a little bit and find out. Let's move a tiny bit first. Let's see what that does. Okay, yeah. So if we go here, we'll be able to still get full health. And then we'll have at least move a little journey. bit towards them. Garrison, that makes us full on replenishment. And then we've at least moved a little bit towards our next objective. The people are rested. Won't build this. Just keep seeking that uh, non-aggression pact. With, oh, hang on. What's happened here? People like us less than they did before. That was Tyrannoch. They like us less. Great power. We've become a great power, potentially. I don't know if we had that before. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Illyrian is starting to like us less as well. Okay. <laughs> Kothik might be a good person to ally with, since they don't dislike us. And they have no aversion, either. Interestingly enough, they, don't, they have affinity towards us. Strange. That's a strange one. Do they have the option to confederate later? Let's, uh, you know what? I may have made a mistake here because they probably have the, the opportunity to confederate later. Let's see if we can get peace with them. Yes, that's fine. Okay, I made a little mistake there, but it's okay. I, we can, what we'll do is shove you back in there. Okay. Mistake rectified. Predicting the income still fine. 
Uh, we'll send Tyrion back down because I think we're going to be at war with these guys and these guys very soon. So that's a good peace treaty to have. And then we will uh, have two armies, one to deal with the Torrelise and one to deal with Safari. Um, so that works out perfectly. Perfectly. So let's pass our turn. Should be a peaceful couple of turns. We can focus on our economy since we've got no wars currently active, but a rare blessing. Okay, how many turns left? You must restore order. Three turns until we can upgrade Rothurn. One turn, oh no, two turns until it rebels. So we'll give it, we'll save it another turn. Did we get public order from this, did we? Ah, one public order from this, that's why. You know what, in that case, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to build the gate because it gives us one public order. Does it give us two? We get two and we get the maximum gate, so that'll be enough. That will be fine, and then our whole capital area will be completely safe. Um, so I'm going to give it one more turn before we recruit a lord. We'll upgrade Tor Ivris. And we will start bringing Tyrion back down to uh, return home to Etain, and then we'll probably declare war on Safari and start invading there. Troubled. Also, we can get military advancements, tier 1, which is excellent. We'll pass our turn there. When we get the second lord, we should be able to... I will just declare war on Safari, and I'll use both the lords to uh, push that war forward at first. Um, hopefully, we don't get engaged in two wars, but it will be nice to have two lords in case that does happen. Kothik have ended up going straight into a war with Krace, so who knows, they might get wiped out in the end. But no matter, it means that it's one less war that we have to deal with, and that's the important thing. Okay. Rebellion and Etain. Cool. Weapon damage for all armies. Wow. Very good. Uh, so let's go for... Archery prowess. Reload time for our archers. And then we'll recruit a lord. And let's see where she... Punitive. Eladin Princess. She's still there. Although let's check who else we have. We have an exemplar. which is pretty good as well, uh, and an adept, who is also very good. But I think 20% missile damage is, is really strong, so we'll go for uh, Princess Eladin. And then we will recruit. She can only recruit one per turn. Interesting. I wonder why that is. <clears throat> I don't know why that is. Well, one extra archer will help defend against uh, this rebellion. Meanwhile, let's keep Tyrion moving, get him into Elisili. One turn until surplus, we can upgrade this as well. So then we can build two public order buildings and hopefully um, reduce the chances of getting a rebellion here right down. Also, the events minus five per turn is probably going to end in one, two turns, so that will also help. So that'll be a massive help in a couple of turns. We could just upgrade this. We have been beating around the bush with it. We could just get it done. I don't know why her recruitment is only one. Perhaps it's just because it's her first turn? 
Or is there an effect happening? Not sure why that's happening. <clears throat> and there's our rebellion. Not a bad thing at all. Um, it'll give us plus 20 public order a turn in our capital. It'll also give a ch Elodin a chance to cut her teeth and get a first battle. Trade agreement. Very good. Definitely good for us. Safari have declared war on Kreis. Um Oh, diplomacy is really working in our favour. <clears throat> All the small high elf factions are warring amongst themselves. Uh, and warring amongst themselves means they're not warring with us. So, uh, that benefits us. Yep, Rebellion. Oh, they have an Eagle. Interesting. Let's see what she can recruit now. Still just one. Interesting. I don't know why that is, but uh, it's okay. So she should get a few extra troops before it all goes down. Let's upgrade LSA. Let's move Tyrion. Hmm. Taxes are minus six, so we could uh, remove the taxes. If Tyrion moves from here, we're going to start having quite an issue with public order. Let's just see how much to move them out. What orders? Minus 14. So how many turns to Rebellion? Three. And the Rebellion would happen back here, so I couldn't even help them. Um, so that's... We the, we'll keep Tyrion there for now. For a couple more turns. It's a bit of a campaign-orientated uh, episode, this one. <clears throat> Although I would like to get a good battle opening salvo with Safari, if we could, before the end of the episode. I think that should be possible. <laughs> the High Elf Battle Cry. Okay, uh, let's take the 20 for diplomatic relations with Illyrian, because we're going to go to war with them soon anyway, is the plan. So I'm not too concerned about that one. Upgrade our noble. Let's give him uh, extra armor, maybe? Or blade shield. We'll give him extra armor. Actually, you know what? No, we'll give him blade shield first. It tends to be that the AI don't... T oh, hang on. If we're going to do that... Oh, we want Deadly Onslaught as soon as possible. I was thinking we'll get more from that. That's plus five there. But it's not just about the stats. We want to get this final item. So we'll do Blade Shield first. Um, and the reason for I'm choosing that over armor is because he's much more likely to get uh, killed by an enemy lord than he is, or, or by um, enemy troops in melee, say Swordmasters of Hoeth or something like that, than he is by enemy archers. Enemy, the AI doesn't tend to focus fire your heroes like you might do to them, uh, where armor would be more beneficial. Can I offer assistance? Um, yes, you can just recruit one more archer. Oh, now we can recruit two. I don't know what's what what's making this decision here, but there we go. Two more archers, um, and then we'll just be able to rain down absolute hell on this invading Impossible. army. Um, although they might attack this turn. No. I think they will attack this turn. Yes, I'm pretty damn sure they will. So we'll see what happens. We have the extra uh, weapon damage, though, 20% for this siege battle as well, so that's going to help us too. Hopefully they haven't got anything too crazy. Sometimes you tend to find these rebellions, they just have absolutely ludicrous troops, even early on. Um, 
So I hope that isn't the case. Grace, hello, my friend. What do you want? Trade agreement. Yes. <laughs> We're trading with Katik and Grace. We're trading with both both sides of that war. Doesn't affect us. We'll trade with anybody who wants trade. Of course we will. The more trade, the better for us. There they go. Ah, they didn't get any more troops. Only a 13-man garrison. Well, that's going to get annihilated then. Now, the only thing that's annoying is that affects our income. Unhappy populace for plus 18? I'm not going to do that this time. We'll do plus 10 for the minus 5% for all income. Most, mostly because I want to be able to leave here, and I'm not going to be able to if I don't um, do something like that. So we'll build the plaza for another plus 2. And then we'll build a plaza here as... Oh no, we'll build a gate. Plaza gives plus two, so I'd rather have the plaza. But then we could untax it, and that would be uh, enough, maybe, to to leave. I wonder what it's on now. Minus eight. We'll give it... One more turn. Of the Just Queen. one. And then we'll move. And we're going to go straight for Port Elastor and attack the uh, attack Safari. Is the plan? Gladly. Again, they haven't got anything too impressive fight it to fight us with. And we'll build up Eladin's army. Not too much though, because we need to have a positive income still. Oh, there's uh, a war going over here in Toralis. I don't know who they're at war with. Must be Kalidor. It's a great thing for us that they're at war with Kreis, because then their, their troops are going to be occupied in the north. So we'll be able to attack them from the south. The little surprise attack without pretty much any contestation. Reload time for archers. Public order, good stuff. We're under siege. Could sally out to break this, it might even be a better idea. to get rid of the rebellion, get it done with. 13 versus... Oh, I don't even know how many, but we should annihilate this, right? We don't need prisoners. Let's fight this. Let's get a little battle on the go. We don't need prisoners. I was I was like, we, if I ought to resolve this, we'll win. But I'm just like, oh, just to make sure that we win. <laughs> it would be rather bad if they got some sort of crazy chance and won it. I would have done a um, square formation here, but they've got, unfortunately, they have artillery, which is going to be annoying. Come back here and wait for the rest of our forces to enter. Understood. With Kadei. With Kadei. I don't have a mind having these Lothar and Seaguard because, of course, we don't we don't pay for these ones, so it's fine. In fact, they're excellent when you don't have to pay for them. They're fantastic. Okay, my Illyrian cavalry and silver helms over there, please. And let's have you fellas spread right out here. Archers here. Guard mode. Let's have 
our princess over here and get the eagle flying and we'll go and take out oh they have an eagle too gotta be careful we're going to take their eagle bolt throwers out that's the plan i don't know where their eagles are going probably to take out my eagles i would imagine that would be their plan but with our eagles we will try and take out their bolt throwers Let's see how successful we are with that hopefully we annihilate them with our archers <laughs> Again, that's the plan. <laughs> Good shooting chaps. Not managed to fake them out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Two dead eagles, I believe. <laughs> or at least one. Two dead. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Not too bad. Not the best use of their eagles by the AI. <laughs> Dead and gone. I think we'll just fully engage these guys with our... Uh... Will we? Oh, that was a direct hit by their... I didn't think they'd get to fire there. Well, they won't get to fire again, thank goodness. Let's charge down this hill at these Silver Helms. Okay, let's move up, chaps, because they're, uh... Uh, halt. And halt. I'm not too concerned about taking casualties with these guys, because they're in the garrison. Um... So I'm really not that concerned about these guys taking... What I don't want to do is take any casualties on my hero's troops. Then again, they're, they're going to be there for a few turns anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Swordmasters across. Swordmasters of Oath are an awesome troop in the uh, SFO. Really, really strong. How are we doing? We're actually doing really well over here. Surprisingly well. I wouldn't I wouldn't have done this at all. I wouldn't have left these guys here. Once they took out the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower, I would have retreated them. If I was playing like if I was if this was a battle out in the uh, where I needed to worry about casualties, but I don't really need to worry about it here. Although it would be good to get a decisive victory, actually, now that I say that, for the experience for our trips. So let's make sure that we do. <laughs> this is gonna they're gonna be dead so quickly. You're not getting that charge boys. Oh, they are they got the charge. I Mean they're instantly gone again, but you know they got it. It's a fair play to them So these guys even have uh, deflect shots. That's good. They charged our spears front on. That's just going to have no effect whatsoever. You guys go and engage the, their Lutheran Sea Guard. And then let's have all you folks shoot at this blob here. Very nice. And we might as well move with the Swordmasters of Poeth. You guys come and attack these spearmen. I think for her first battle, she's not doing too badly. Against these rebel scam. Without fail. Okay, engage, engage, engage. Actually, you engage there and you guys get them in the back. Lovely. Lovely, jovely. Cavalry aren't having a good time, but they are against spearmen after all. Let's have them all take out this archer. Let's see how fast. Let's see how fast this lord goes down with all our archers firing at them. <laughs> Pin cushion activate. <laughs> 
And a decisive victory, I, I, I imagine. Let's pull the sword masters out there just so they have free reign on shooting them. There we go. Jobs are good. And decisive victory. And a couple of talent points for Eladan. And zero losses for her deployed troops. But yes, as, as, as I've remembered, it didn't really matter. But um, it's always smart to try and play as if you're garrisoned units. You don't want to take casualties on them. Okay, let's uh, take the... You know what? I'm going to take the gold. The cat eye on me. Unfortunately, we haven't quite wiped them out. We're going to upgrade Lothurn. Take Root Marcher and we'll take Bonded Service. I really believe in the blue tree for the elves. I think it's excellent. It allows us to sustain more armies, and um, I think the uh, the elves have really good a, a really good blue tree. Certainly not. I could just push out and take him out. I think that's worthwhile. Let's do it. Their deaths are necessary. Um, let's fight it manually, just to confirm. That we win this. Should win this. I, I feel like we should win this. Can't imagine us not, but I've been wrong before. So we're just going to put our uh, lords into combat, melee combat with them, and then shoot them from behind with our archers. That's the plan here. Oh, they get the hill. Of course they do. Uh, let's go on the other side of the water. That's a good idea. Can we actually go in the water? Oh, even better. How does this affect us? Let's see. Marshals are difficult for small units to traverse and fight in. Okay. So, uh, that's perfect. <laughs> so we just go in the water. Hopefully, they come to us. They do. So we'll just shoot them. Let's just make maximize that range. And then because they'll be slowed down by the water... Uh, hopefully, <laughs> we'll uh, take them out before they even reach us. Okay, we need to focus fire on these guys first. Make sure they don't reach us. Then this one. All those casualties being taken for naught, I guess. And then finally this one. Forgetting they were Lothar and Seaguard and they'd probably prefer to fire than, than fight in melee. I would have thought they'd come for melee, but whatever. A victory is a victory, and that's them wiped out, I think. Good stuff. So, that was stupid. <laughs> because I thought they were going to come for melee. But still, it, it worked out fine. And we've wiped out that rebellion, so that's good. Actually, it might not have. I might need to change this unit down. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Let's see what happens. Victory no, for we the don't. Azure. Thank goodness. I have need of slaves. Uh, we'll execute Adjust the captives. Protect our Volfram. And then, you know what? We'll move with her to Tower of Lys... No, we won't. We'll move over to... Taking up we won't move anywhere. I wanted to reach Angariel, but we can't, can't reach it, so we'll, we'll go there next turn. Take Bonded Service. Now our recruitment cost is 15% better, which is excellent, since we're going to recruit an army on her. Um, and let's build a gate here. Servant of the King. And we stayed for our one turn. I'm going to stay for one more turn. One last turn, we're going to stay there. Spear wall or cartridge ammunition? Spear wall, definitely. And then we'll pass our turn. Okay, onwards to Safari. Everything is going far too well, so I'm expecting something to go cataclysmically wrong soon. <laughs>
Although it's looking less and less like we'll be able to fit, uh, fit the start of the war for Safari into this episode, though. But if we can't, it's no matter. It'll be in the start of the next one. Okay, good Ever stuff. Loyal. Let's start moving. Ever loyal. Let's... Should we march? I don't want to march because it's going to cost me even more money. Ready for orders. Actually, you know what? If I march, I'll be able to reach Ingariel next turn. So overall, hopefully it'll cost me less, even though it's going to cost me more this turn. Also, now, has he got renowned and feared yet? He doesn't. Now he does. Good stuff. Uh, we're building the wall there. What's the public order there? Minus eight. I am tempted to untax it. Um, I definitely don't want it getting to a point where it... it uh... You know what? We'll keep a tax this turn, build that, and then we'll untax it once that gets... So we know that we can save it from rebellion. So it's minus eight right now, with minus six from taxes, which takes it to minus two if we don't. So... If we build this next turn, and then when it gets to the point that it needs to, we can untax it, and uh, then it will be plus one at that point, so that's fine. Elodin, uh, I'm not going to recruit anything else on her yet. There's no need to. Let's just pass our turn. I'll check if we can get any more trade agreements with anyone. No, we cannot. Mistress, do not attempt to light. Okay, pass turn. Such a good soundtrack in this. Welcome, brothers. What do you wish to discuss? Military access, no problem at all. Now that we're at peace with them, I'd rather stay on good terms with them if we can. Okay, let's waste no time. Maneuvers, train them. Four turns of a thousand, so a thousand experience for four percent upkeep. Oh no, 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 not worth. We don't need that. The experience is not worth the uh, the gold it's going to cost. To be honest, we're, we're got enough experience in my opinion. So we'll be attacking Port Elastor next turn. Your command. We'll bring Eladin with us. Just to get that extra XP and guarantee the victory, I guess. Uh, we will upgrade this here. Just shame because it means we can't recruit this turn, but we don't need the extra troops, to be honest. And uh, so we'll be taking Port Elastor out and then have Tower of Hoeth in quick succession. Um, and we're throwing Eladin in there just to make sure she gets the XP. That's the reason she's tagging along. Lady of the Phoenix Court. So we'll pass one more turn, and uh, we're just going to probably auto-resolve that battle. There's no need not to. And we'll probably end the episode there. In fact, you know what? We'll, we'll start the war with Safari next episode. Uh, I think that's a better plan. Um, gives us a good chapter to to end on and start with in the next game 
So I'm going to wrap the episode up there, folks. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you did, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.